Real justice is a very rare thing. And it makes you feel that much more empathy for the victims. That was Edna Buchanan explaining what she learned to Flagler College students over the 18 years that she covered crime in Miami. Her name is synonymous with the words rape and murder. Edna covered more than 5,000 violent crimes. However, the cases that bother her the most are the ones that remain unsolved. Those cases nag me every night. One story that haunts Edna to this day is the story of Amy Billick, a teenager who disappeared while walking to her father's art studio to borrow two dollars. She was never found. Okay. I have her dental chart. And the parents are dead now. I'm the only one that still remembers. If somebody walked into the Miami police station now and said, and said I know who killed Amy Billig, or I know where to find Amy Billig, um, the police there probably wouldn't even know what they were talking about. These chilling crimes left Edna feeling like she needed some sort of closure. Sometimes I'll sit outside and look at the water and think, where is she? She's written 14 fiction novels, all of them about crime. But many times now, I've taken the spin up on an old unsolved case and solved it in my book. And it gives me a little closure. Dr. Judith Burdan, a Flagler College professor, is also a huge fan of Edna. The loose ends in the real stories provide an entrance for the fictional stories. In closing, Edna left students knowing that they can make an impact. In this great tapestry that is life, some small thing we do, even a few words that we say, can greatly affect others, even change lives far down the line. The act of one person may resonate for years to come.